I got, you got my good side? You got my good side? I'm scruffy, but I'm scruff daddy. Uh, I don't really know what I was about to say. All I know is, you hear that? That's the sound of New York City. I need y'all to walk with me though. Living in a place like New York City, there's a lot that's popularized about it. There's a lot that's glamorized about it. But I personally feel like a lot of us take for granted like the true jewels that this city has. And honestly, if you ask me, the number one thing at the top of that list, I would say is the people. So take a walk with me and we're going to explore this just, just slightly. It's more about the narration than the people that surround me, but I just want you to get that effect so you can see what it's like real time to walk through the city as just a regular person, you feel me? So when I walk through my city, it's, it's so big and it's so much going on that you could feel really small here and there's perks to that, you know what I mean? Like, I think one of the things that all New Yorkers appreciate on some level is it's very easy to disappear in this really big, massive abyss. You know, there's so much going on, everybody's going somewhere that's more important than where you're going. So if you don't want to be seen and you don't want to be bothered, New York City is the perfect city for that. On the flip side, if you are somebody that is a bit more extravagant, flamboyant, quote unquote excessive, as some people would say, this is a place where you can be as dramatic and fabulous and fashion-tastic, yes, I just made that word up, as you want to be, and you also still look very normal and you can garner all the attention you want. And the best part about it for me, you, you, you help make the city look more beautiful. You decorate it. Like it's a beautiful fall, early morning. It's probably about to be afternoon now, but the leaves are changing. We got horse and carriage rides going on right here. People riding their bikes. And the sad part about it, and I used to think like this, is people could very easily like miss the beauty for more trivial things like I'm one of the few black people I see out here it's like mostly white skin you know what I mean but at the end of the day we all people all of these people have a story you don't know what these people are bringing to the table if you just stop at their skin complexion so at the end of the day everybody that's in New York City whether they moved here or they a native to the space it adds to the the, the cultural enrichment the fabric and the narrative that continues to get built. And I think a lot of times, you know, the only thing in life that's inevitable is change and death. You know what I mean? Everything is gonna be constantly changing. And as soon as we're all born, <laughs> we all know we're gonna die someday. But I think when you really get into your flow state and you really start learning how to flow, you become more comfortable with change. And you start to see how change is actually more beneficial than not even when things are changing in ways you probably don't appreciate or would rather they not, you know what I mean? So just taking it back to the scenery, like this is all superficial, right? But then if you start to think about going into the, into the like deep crevices of what it means to be a New Yorker and like what this city really comes with for better and for worse, again, starting with the people and the stories, like where are people going? You know, like I think if you look at somebody that comes from a small town, they don't see as many people inside of a day, inside of a moment. And people also aren't always going somewhere. So, you know, I think, I think a lot of times we get too caught up in superficialities and the, the topical things that can make us different. You know, it's, it's a saying that they say where it's more to people than what meets the eye. And just to sort of bring it all back home to New York City, everybody talks about New York City being a melting pot, but at the same time, it's a pretty segregated city. But the difference between here and a place like Chicago is you actually, I feel like we have a great distinct opportunity to get exposed to all of the different cultures and creeds and heritages that people bring to the city, but you have to you have to basically be fearless and you have to expose, you have to be willing to step outside of your comfort zone and do things that may not be normal to the people that you grew up around and people that look like you in order for you to really embrace the beauty that the city has. And so that's one of the things that I really wanted to leave y'all with in terms of how I feel about my city. I've been telling people that 
my city hasn't really been feeling the same since after the pandemic, but that's really my perspective. That's a choice. That's how I'm choosing to see it. The city is as beautiful as it's ever been. And the only thing that's going on is it's changing. And so are you going to change with it? Or are you going to stay stagnant and feel like the best is behind you? So much more life we got to live. So get out here in the world and live it, baby. That's what we doing. That's my word with flow.